Well, here we are. A quick video on something quite important. And it's, it's a problem that we have quite a lot in editing, and that is getting a track to fit into the, the right, a background track, to fit across the whole of a, of a clip or the whole of a, 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 a whole video or whatever that is with corporate videos, whether that is across the whole video or just across a small portion of the track, whether it's too long or too short, it's a problem. And, and it, it, it's a problem that can be solved because effectively there is a way of doing it and that is to round trip stuff from uh, Premiere Pro into um, Audition and then back again, a bit like this. <laughs> And then of course, that obviously means you've got all those saved files from Audition, from Audition, from Audition, um, and you've got uh, you've got all that whole moving it into a different program, sorting it all out, doing the whole remix, everything else, and etc. 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 Well, the thing is, is Adobe have, have included that so that that little bit, that thing that we use quite a lot, directly into Premiere Pro, and they've made it so that that thing, that, that little feature is available. So you don't have to do that round trip anymore. You can effectively just, uh, you can effectively just do that from with the Premiere Pro. So roll the intro and let's have a look how we do it. So here we are in Premiere Pro and you've just seen the sequence where we have done the round trip from Premiere Pro to Audition and then back again whilst also doing all the remix stuff and then bringing the uh, the song back into Premiere Pro in the format that we want it to be in. It's time consuming, it's long winded, um, it's very good and there's obviously there's a lot more things you can do in Audition than you can in Premiere Pro with regard to audio as that's a specific audio program. However, what we want to do is we want to quickly just remix a track so that it runs the length of our video um, from the start of the timeline right to the very end. And what we're going to do there is we're going to use just one or two clicks in order to be able to do it. There is a caveat to it. It will try its hardest to remix it to the length you want it to be. Sometimes it can't do that because it obviously it can't do the remix and make it sound any good. Um, without it being either very slightly too long or very slightly too short. It, it, it's, it's as good as you're going to get, and it's excellent in 99.999% of the uh, applications you're using it for, and the other 1% uh, or the 0.1%, you can finagle it so that it works for you anyway. So here we go. This is how we actually do it. Dead simple, dead quick. So we're coming over here to our tools, to our toolbar, and we're looking for this set of tools here. This is the ripple roll, etc., etc., etc. And we're going to click on that. And then down at the bottom here, where you've got rate stretch, which is your time stretch, we've also got a remix tool. So we've selected our song and we click the remix tool. And then we get this little icon here, which is a, a little, uh, little uh, music symbol with a little red line through it. So what we can do now is we can grab the end of our song and we can just drag it out to where we see fit. So we want it to end roughly around about there and we're going to let go of it. And then up comes this essential sound uh, toolbar. And that's now remixing this clip. And it's saying it wants to be 6 minutes 15 seconds, but it's actually in it at 6 minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, so you're sort of like a couple of seconds over on the end. But obviously the song itself has got uh, a fade out and it's also got a quiet space at the back. So in essence, it's remixed it to the end of the video. And you can see you can stretch it or you can remix it. And there are a few other different bits and bobs you can do in terms of the customization of the segments. So you can say you want fewer segments or more segments. 
uh, and that may inter may uh, affect how many times uh, it can what the time it is it can it can re uh, remix it to so if we go to more segments for instance um, then it would automatically put 7.6 segments in uh, and it would uh, try its best to fit them out now you can actually see where it's done its work so if I click off of it and we zoom in we zoom into it let's get to a point where we are where we can see some stuff yep here we go so if I just uh, extend this out a little bit you can see this little jagged line here and that little jagged line is essentially where it's gone actually I can make a cut there and I can make a cut there and I can remix this audio to extend the time out it's the same principle if you're reducing the song it will then do exactly the same work and it will try its hardest to do what you need to do again as I say when you click on it you get all these options um, you need to fiddle around with these um, to make sure that you um, you get it exactly what you want it to be I find I generally don't need to sort of mess with any of this I sort of just let it do its thing and like I said to you before 9.9 9 .9 times out of 10 it is perfectly serviceable for what we need it to do told you this one was going to be really quick didn't I it said it was going to be really really quick really really simple and it's so easy to do and it's just a thing it just means you don't have to be an expert in uh, audio in order to be able to get a sort of the feel of what you want and it has so many different applications obviously you can use it on stems and so on and so forth um, and you can make a particular part of the stem longer or shorter etc 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 but it does mean that you don't have to now go into audition if you don't want to you can just quickly extend or reduce the size of a track inside Premiere Pro without any issues whatsoever just with basically one click and it's so so easy so I hope this quick video uh, as an extension to a video that we did before which you've seen the card on in, in this video uh, I hope this quick video has been useful in just pointing out one of the newest uh, most useful features that Adobe Premiere Pro has so with that I'll see you guys in the next one peace